Hello, this is Baron, and if you'd like to learn what are four things that the man you want to be with or the man you love is dying to hear from you, well, stick around because I'm going to be revealing them on my episode today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to be that come, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, and as a result of showing up and stepping into the most alive, present, and feminine version of yourself. Listen, I'm going to share with you today what are four things that the man that you really want to connect with wants to hear. Before I do, let me just state the place from which you can share this because it really matters. The space from which you can share something that really pierces through his heart, connects with him and enables him to feel what you're saying, ignite something in him that will make him even more committed, more connected, more desiring of you, is you need to connect to your own heart first. Why? Because if you connect to your own heart, then the way in which you share something will feel very different than if you're just sharing the things that you learn on a YouTube video that you should say to this dude. Saying the things without feeling them, you might as well skip them. It's better than not saying them, but it's not going to get you what you want. Second thing that's important is, aside from being hard connected, feeling what it is that you're sharing and being present, is that I need you to share why. Why are those things important to you? Not just what, but why. Why it matters to you. Specificity is important. The more specific you are, the more he knows. It's not just a line. It's not just something you're saying. It's not something that you're sitting on him so that you can ask him for something later. It's the truth of where you are in your life at that moment. The first thing you want to share with him that he's dying to hear is what you really admire about him. And why is this important? Because as a man, to know that the woman you're with or the woman who wants to be with you admires you makes you feel like you matter, makes you feel like you can add value to her life, makes you feel seen, makes you feel understood, makes you feel important, makes you feel like she took the time to understand you enough to be able to say, this is something I admire about you and I feel proud to be with you. I don't know if you've ever had this experience where a guy is walking with you and then all of a sudden his friends come around or someone gets into the picture and he becomes weird and distant and cold and he presents you as the friend versus the girlfriend. If that's ever happened to you, that is the opposite of what I'm sharing with you. The opposite of that is feeling seen, proud of being with him. You need to be able to get to know him to be able to say, this is what I admire about you, okay? Second thing that he's dying to hear from you is what really turns you on about him. What you feel is sexy about him, what, you, what turns you on, what lights you up inside, what makes you feel excited regarding him. And it could be something subtle, it could be something more specific, it could be the way he looks, it could be the way he moves, it could be the way he smiles, it could be the way he looks at you, the way he holds you, the way uh, he makes love to you if you're at that stage of the relationship. Now, this is going to be different at different levels. If you're not having sex with them, you're going to share things in a way that creates sexual tension, but not necessarily creates that let's go to the room right now situation. But you do want to be able to plant those seeds of things you find attractive, things you found, find sexy, things you find turn-ons in him. Uh, third thing you want to share that he is dying to hear from you is what makes him unique, what makes him different, what makes him him in your eyes. Why is this important? Because the, from the moment a guy is born, when he's a child, he goes through adolescence, he's an adult, he's being measured in many different ways. He's being measured on how much money he makes, He's being measured, I'm not saying that's your fault, that's the, just the way the world works. He's being measured on how much money he makes, how focused he is, how strong he is, how tall he is, how intelligent he is, how much he can make things happen. And there's a lot of pressure he goes through, not, I mean, there's a lot of pressure you grow through in as well. So you understand something about him. I'm just sharing from his, his perspective in case you feel, well, there's not much, much pressure for him to be as beautiful as there is on you. Potentially, that's right. There's pressure in other areas of his life. Uh, so when he grows up that way and you get a chance to understand his character, what he brings to the table, what makes him tick, what makes him unique, what makes him different, he gets for a moment to forget about measuring himself on some arbitrary stupid standard that society has imposed on him and he can 
relax and feel seen. He can feel understood. He can feel, you know what, I've invested enough heart energy in this woman that she's able to see me for who I am. And that matters to me. As I know it matters to you when he can see you and when he can see what's different from you versus other women around him, right? Number four, thing he wants to hear and he's never going to say it to you, but he wants to hear, and he's dying actually to hear from you, is when you feel safer around him, when you feel taken care of, when you feel like he's adding some value to your life that makes your life easier and better. But safety is a strong one because it's a primal need that men have to protect. Um, the more you feel, and it doesn't have to be like physical safety, although that might help, but if it's safety in any way, the way he looks at you, the things he does around you, the way he stands up for you when others are not standing up for you, anything that is true that taps into the primal need he has to create protection and to create safety for those he loves will again create that feeling of connection with you and it's something that he, his, he you can never tell him enough all the things that I'm sharing with you. Now, am I saying you should only share them with him, you should never share them with you? No, if I were creating a video for guys, I'd be sharing some different things that they need to be, I mean, some things similar, some things different that, that they need to share with you. But here's the truth of the whole thing. If you find that these things I'm sharing with you right now are helpful, they're useful in some way, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one is click like on this video, and number two, or thumbs up. Number two, subscribe to my channel, you can even click the little bell if you want to be reminded of new episodes, don't miss out on them. Number three, on the first line of the description of this video, you're going to find a link that allows you to sign up, enter your name and email to, to a masterclass that I created for you that's going to share with you step by step into how you can create the relationship if you've been wanting to win. It's absolutely free. Underneath that link, if you're saying, you know what, this makes sense, I like it, I enjoy it, but I want more. I want hand-holding, I want specific guidance through going through the steps of getting the connection that I want. I don't want to waste time. I don't want to reinvent fire and I have no need to, to do trial and error for an extra five years. Then there's a link that allows you to connect with me personally. And if I feel you feel an application, if I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out, schedule a time with you. We'll talk. If we hit it off and I can offer something to you, I'll share. If you want to connect, we'll, we'll work together. And if you don't, then uh, no harm done. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.